Hi Bio 107 students. Today I'm going to show you how to make a wet mount of celery. And I have my supplies here laid out for me. I have a cup of water with a pipette in it. Your pipette might look different. All you need is a little bit of water here. I have a microscope slide and a cover slip, just one. I have stain. I have, I'm using the blue stain today. It works best with celery and I have my celery. Now, when you make a slide of biological tissue, the key to do it successfully is to make your specimen as thin as possible. So we wanna make a very, very thin slice through the celery, and we are going to do a cross-section slice here, and we will do a longitudinal slice. So cross-section goes um, horizontally, through the organism. If you're looking at cells or tissues, sometimes this can get a little tricky, but with celery, it grows like this. So a cross section is cut this way. A longitudinal section goes vertically, top to bottom. They'll give you different views of your specimen. When we do a cross section, we can see the cells next to each other. Um, the cells for celery and a lot of plants are long and cylindrical in the stem. So a longitudinal section cuts through those um, cylindrical column-like cells and we see them as more kind of squarish or even um, abnormally shaped, uh, clustered together. When we do a longitudinal section, we could see the cells stacked up on one another and they appear more square. Um, different views give us different um, information. So first I'm going to do a cross section. So I take my stem and I cut it. I'm using a regular kitchen knife for this. A razor blade works really well. If you have one, I suggest using it. This is a non-serrated knife and I prefer that to a serrated knife because it doesn't have that wavy appearance when you cut into the celery, which might not be visible to your naked eye, but under the microscope, it, it's definitely visible. So this is just a very sharp, plain knife. And then I take a very, very skinny, skinny, skinny slice through it. And my celery is translucent, which is ideal. The light microscopes that we have shine light up through the bottom and the light goes through our specimen and um, then we can see it through the eyepiece. So I place the celery onto the slide, and then I recommend a drop of water and a drop of stain. This is a pretty big slice. It's thin, but it is wide. Um, so if you have that, if it's sticking out the sides of your cover slip, you can cut it a little bit so that you can make it um, smaller. The cover slip always goes on that keeps your specimen flat and protects the lenses from getting wet. And that's how to do a wet mount. It's wet because we're using water and we have live material here. The stain helps us see the cells more clearly. It adheres to the cell membranes, um, can make the cell walls more visible, and the nuclei can become visible with this stain. Okay, um, Making that slice, the very thin slice, might take a couple tries. Please don't get discouraged. It takes practice. Um, I've had years of practice doing this, so I can get a very thin slice right away, but you might want to try a couple slices. If your cover slip is a little wobbly on your specimen, um, consider doing another slice because that means you have one side that's bigger than the other and the cover slip is um, kind of seesawing back and forth over that. So get a nice thin slice. And then for a longitudinal slice here, I made a little celery. I'm going to slice it this way. So I actually wanna make this even smaller, maybe about one centimeter long. And there, I've got a little piece of celery. Then I'm going to cut it down the middle. So I have that. And then I'm making a nice, I'm standing it up, kind of like I would stand this, like this. My little piece, I'm standing up like that. 
Hope you can see that. There we go. And then a very, very thin slice in the up and down direction. If you don't get all the way down, it's okay. You want to have something very, very thin. Very, very thin. Light can shine through it. And to do this longitudinal uh, slide, you do the same thing. You could put it right on the microscope slide. A drop of water, a drop of stain, and this could be right next to the other specimen that you have. You need a cover slip to protect the, the, um, the objective lenses. So I have an extra box of slides that I purchased on Amazon fairly affordably and some extra cover slips that I also got on Amazon. And if you like microscopy, I definitely recommend getting these. I have a hundred slides here. I could reuse them. This is going to last me for a very long time. Same with the cover slips. So cover slips on here. When you use the microscope and you're looking at these specimens, always start with the lowest power objective and the stage all the way down. Then you bring your stage up with the focus knobs. The coarse one works best at low power. And then once you can see through your eyepiece um, that specimen, use the fine focus knobs. Uh, then once you can see your specimen and it's very clear, make sure it's centered, go up to the next higher objective, the 10X. That'll give you a total magnification of 100X. Um, there you only need the fine focus knobs to bring that into view. Uh, you'll be able to see more in your field of view. Everything will be magnified. And then once you can see that clearly and you center on the part of the slide that you want to look at, it needs to be in the center of your field of view, go up to the higher power magnification, the 40x objective, giving you a total magnification of 400, and use the fine focus knobs there. You don't want to use the coarse focus knobs when you're at the higher powers because that raises and lowers the stage to such a high amount that you will lose focus of your specimen very quickly. You can even raise the stage up too much and you could hit the objective lens, and that is not good. It can cause some damage to your scope. So only use the fine focus knobs at 10x and 40x objectives. Those are the objectives that we are going to be using for this class. You won't need the 100x objective. Um, feel free to email if you have any questions, and good luck.